let's solve for x okay now 64 is same thing as 2 to the power of 6 okay raise the power of x is equal to the square root of 16 root what 8 now let's square both sides of this equation if we do that we are going to have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x everything squared is equal to square root of 16 root 8 raised to the power of 2 so when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n this can be written as a to the power of m times n okay therefore we can write this as what 2 to the power of what 12x right 6 times x will give us 6x 6x times 2 will give us 12x is equal to now this square root we multiply this to give us what this we cancel and we have 16 root what 8 all right so we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 16 square root of 4 multiplied by 2. I would like us to watch this to the end because I'm going to substitute the value of x back to this equation to prove that it is right or wrong, okay? All right, so we can write 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 16 multiplied by, this is same thing as root 4 multiplied by root 2. All right, now we have... 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 16 multiplied by 2 because square root of 4 will give us 2. Then multiply by root 2. Now we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 32 root 2, right? Yeah, 32 square root of 2. We have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 32 is same thing as 2 to the power of 5, right? Now multiplied by this is 2 to the power of half. This is half. So we now have that 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 2 to the power of 5 plus half. Because when you have the same base and they are multiplying each other, that is when you have a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y. This is equal to a to the power of x plus y. Okay? So that is exactly what we do here. So we are going to have 2 to the power of Five and half, right? And five and half is same thing as what? Eleven over what? Two. Five one over one over two. Two times five is ten. Ten plus one is eleven. So this is what we have. Now, because we have the same base, we are going to ignore the base and we are going to equate the powers. So we will have twelve x is equal to eleven over two. Now we are going to do what? Cross multiply. If we do that, we have two times this. We give us. 24x is equal to 11. Now, our x is equal to 11 over 24. So, it is time to check our solution. Now, let's check. We are told that 64 to the power of x, which is 11 over 24, is equal to the square root of what? 16 square root of 8. 64 is same thing as what? 2 to the power of 6. Okay? Now, raised to the power of 11 over 24 is equal to the square root of 16 is same thing as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 8 is same thing as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of half because square root is same thing as half, okay? All right, so we have 2 to the power of 6. We divide 24 to give us 4. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2. We are going to multiply this by this to get what? 3 over 2. All right. Please permit me to turn this side. So this is equal to what? We have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to the square root of because we have the same base and they are multiplying, we are going to pick one base. And when we add the power, we have 4 whole number 3 over 2, right? So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11 over 2. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 2. Recall that square root is same thing as 1 over 2. Okay, so we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 
is equal to 2 to the power of, when this multiply this, we have 11 over 4 as well. So that shows that the answer we got is right.